and they never served me a properly serving for eviction to move out. Never gave me no eviction paper, just a 72 hour notice when I came home from the hospital last Thursday. Yeah. And he told the news yesterday that um, I passed out because I was so exhausted because they taking the house, taking my stuff out the house. That's what he told the news people last night. And he told YNN that I just, I, re I had a fit and fell out. No, he's pulled me to the ground with the cuffs on me. Okay? Do you think that? Well, when, I, when the realtor, Hunt's realtor sold me the house, it was appraised for twenty thousand dollars. We've been in the house almost four years now, and I rehabbed the whole house and all the other two houses that's involved with Countrywide and um, Bank of America. And now since all properties rehabbed and totally completed, they're trying to steal the house back from me, saying that the former seller, Mr. Lovewell, owed them money that the short sale never got completed. When they gave me letters, I have that they didn't own the property anymore; that the short sale was completed. But and they're going know. back and forth from they Countrywide to Fannie Mae, <laughs> saying that they had no interest in the property, no, but they still send an eviction, putting me out of my house. You're going to have to stay in the hotel till they fit, get my house, but put it back the way it was. Right. And yeah, then talk to the Attorney's General Office, somebody who can't help a vote to organization, because when a voice is heard with a lot of people, something could be done. You understand what I'm saying? Because right now, they just think they're going to walk away and steal my house and not without a fight. You got to throw me on the ground more than one time. We go to court on July 28th for trespassing in my own yard where you threw me on the ground at. Yeah, you're not allowed on the property, especially you're not, you're not allowed on the especially property. Especially with me? Yes. But I, I'm afraid to stay off the property. Oh, this is a sidewalk. <laughs> This time they only sent one police car. Never even met. The last time they sent like five. They went over there and threatened his life. He said something. He just desperate. Okay. But he said on the news, yeah. But that, he said on the cop? news yesterday. That cop right passed here. out. Yeah. She walked out and it was sunk because they know I just came from the hospital. That was the cop saying that I passed out. That's yeah. the cop that just yeah. right just yeah. walked out. What was his name? Oh, W37. W37. Well, how many cops? One cop car, two cop car, three cop car, four cop cars. Because we walked over across the street to ask to talk to the owner of the house's daughter who's in the house and then they made a call and they got four police to oh, come out for this. they're pulling around. W92. And they're down there. They're positioned. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now there's three cop cars down there. So there's I'm going to ask you guys to stay off that property. Well, went over there yesterday, this morning, and I said, well, what's going on here? Can we see what's going on in the house? And he immediately That's said, right there. He, he, he called yeah. me by name. Yeah. He, 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 said, he says, Ryan, I'm calling the police on you. I said, dude, what's going on, man? I'm just, I'm just checking out what's going on here. I just talked to Virginia. She wanted to have me check out what's going on. And um, immediately, um, Sandy Macaluso, uh, the marshal. The marshal mm -hmm. pulled up in his um, mm -hmm. slick black car, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> he called his um, his friends. He called five police officers to come over, See what the is. and uh, the they were between the Joe and Sandy. They were talking. They're like, "We want these people arrested." And you know, the officer came mm -hmm. over, and I said, "Look, we're just sitting there over here. I'm just filming across the street. That is legal, isn't it?" Which he acknowledged. That's what he 